Be sure the water and electricity connection of the machine is correct before operating. Strictly connect follow the user manual. Pay attention to opening the valve of the chiller before starting the machine. Turn on the power switch. Turn on the power supply of the chiller. Turn on the pump and compressor. Set the water temperature. Turn on the main switch. Wait for the touch screen to light up and enter the password. Click the parameter button to enter parameter settings. The parameters of the machine are already set before shipment, and users can manually change them according to their own needs. Press and hold the open button to open the machine cover. Switch the operating mode to auto, and click on the reset button. After the balance shaft is reset, the position of the coil will align with the position of the crucible. Place the flask filled with gypsum powder and crucible filled with appropriate amount of metal material on the balance shaft. Loosen the compression screw nut, adjust the balance nut on the balance shaft to the balance position, then lock it, finally tighten the compression nut. After adjusting the balance, take out the flask and place it into the burnout oven for heating. Click the up button to raise the induction coil. Ensure that the crucible is filled with metal materials, and then click the close button to close the cover. And click the no button. Click on the preset temp to set the melting temperature you need and then press the heating control button and adjust the power knob to increase the power to 80 or 100 percent for heating observe the melting status through the observation window the melting time is about one to three minutes when the melting temperature reaches the set value the machine will be in a constant temperature state open the cover after the melting is completed Place the heated flask on the flask rack. Click the close button to close the cover. In automatic mode, after close the cover, the system will pop up a prompt indicating whether to turn on vacuum pumping. Now, click yes button, and then the machine will start vacuuming. If the set vacuum level is reached, click yes on the interface and the machine will automatically adding shielding gas. After the shielding gas is filled, click the OK button. The induction core will automatically descend, and then the machine began centrifugal testing. After the testing process is completed, click the OK, and the cover will automatically open. And then take out the flask for cooling and cleaning. Finish the product display.